Hi Scorpio, I hope you're all really well. This is your mid-November 2016 reading. Um, as always, words before we start, check out your rising sign and your moon sign. This is just a general reading. The only way to get real answers uh, to what's going on in your life at the moment is to get yourself booked in with me for a personal reading. Click up on the link in the corner, it takes you through to the website. Loads of different readings and prices to choose from. There is also the 2017 um, complete yearly overview personal uh, personal reading for you. Uh, that's Celtic Cross with the rest of the year. Having a look at that as well. That can be a gift or it can be for yourself as well. Um, so get booked in for that. That usually gets quite busy. Um, and the Organite Pyramids are up there. I've got a whole new section on crystals and the meaning of crystals as well. Uh, so you can have a look at that. So let's start on your reading. Eight of Cups to start off with. You're walking away from something. You are leaving something behind. And it's usually for the betterment of you. So it... First of all, I think there... Uh, for some of you, there's some emotions involved here. Um, but it's a life-changing walking away from something. Remember, we've got this full moon, this super moon on the 15th. Um, right, you know, right slap bang when this reading is, is coming out to you. <clears throat> so this is, is happening for you. For some of you, I feel like it's... I actually feel like you're walking away from something that you needed to walk away from a long time ago. This could be something emotional. So you're leaving behind a bad feeling, uh, an emotional feeling of guilt, of regret, of sadness, something that you've probably carried around with you for a long time. You're finally just letting it go. It doesn't need to be a part of your personality anymore. It doesn't need to be a part of you. Um, it's not part of your story anymore. You've changed your story. Um, you know, if you're always one of those people, you know, how's your life? You know, if somebody asks you about your life, you always, oh, well, I had a really, really bad time when I was 20, and this happened when I was 19, and this happened when I was 30, um, which changed everything in turn. You could be letting go of all that. I feel, for some of you, that's how it feels to me. You just, you're letting go of the past. You're letting go of bad stuff that happened in the past. You don't need to carry it around with you. Or with you. For others of you, obviously, it, it could be a job you're walking away from. It could be a relationship. It could be a very, very life-changing thing like that. But you're walking into something better. For some of you, it's um, you're getting rid of some sort of baggage that you had that you don't need anymore. I think for some of you financially, you're getting rid of a loan. Or you finally finished paying something off. Or yeah. you're getting rid of something. Um, that you don't need to to pay out for anymore. Um, getting rid of that car that was always breaking down and wasn't any good and never started in the morning and you think, oh, bleh. <laughs> I'm getting rid of that. So there's something that you're walking away from over the next couple of weeks. But because you're walking away from it, what you need to embrace is the Nine of Pentacles. You're actually feeling very... This is not a sad thing you walking away this is actually quite a happy thing this is actually something that you you feel a sigh of relief when you when you do this it's like yes and it brings in space it makes a space within your life for a little bit more happiness to come in so it's not quite a 10 it's not ecstatic you're not dancing around the living room but it is things are a lot more content and a lot more secure um, around you more than they were before which is a really nice thing to have it could be a health problem you're letting go of you know it could be something along along those lines but you've you've got this nice hopeful happy demeanor um, so maybe some of you will be dancing around the house for the rest of the month but it's very nice it's an uplifting emotion if you've been feeling down lately uh, there's a good chance over the next couple of weeks you're going to feel so, so much better than you did before. You're going to be feeling um, just just great. For some of you, it's a particular, I want to say specifically for some of you, it's a particular task at work 
that you're leaving behind and you are so do you know what some of you have been like covering for somebody who's been sick or you've been covering for maternity leave or uh you've had to take on extra responsibilities at work <clears throat> and you hated it and you didn't want to do it and you weren't happy about it and for some that's changed you are now free of those um yeah. either that person has come back to work um or you've changed positions or something where you're like, oh, I don't have to worry about that old job anymore. So for that, so it's a really nice happy card. A lot of happy feelings coming up for you in the next couple of, of weeks, which then causes um, happy circumstances as well. So what you need to avoid <clears throat> over the next couple of weeks is try not to be, um, try not to be the hermit try and get out and be more sociable than usual you know get down the pub a little bit more meet up with friends more um get more onto your social media a little bit more than maybe you have been doing maybe because you were bogged down with this you were you felt a little bit like the hermit you felt like you had to concentrate on whatever that was you couldn't get out of it and it was taking up to it's like some of your time is being freed up now um so make it's like make the most of it for the next couple of weeks get out and about do more things um spend more time with with family don't spend quite so much time on your own you don't need to be as as solitary as maybe you have been i'm sorry that was my daughter slamming her bedroom door <laughs> she she's only 11 but she still acts like a teen she's acting like the teenager now um yeah so it's about it's about getting getting out and about more than you have done being more sociable seeing family more this may be the end of an argument um with a partner or or you know that maybe that's what you're walking away from or a family member which is drawing you all together more you, you're finally able to sit down and talk about things um so avoid any lonely feelings, any isolated feelings, it's time to get yourself out and about over the next couple of weeks. And going forward is the magician. For those of you that got more free time on your hands, that have breathed the sigh of relief, you, you, you're, you're now in a position of, right, well, now what do I want to create? What do I want? I've just finished paying off a loan. Shall I go and get another one? <laughs> Shall I replace it with something? What am I going to create now? going forward because you've got the right attitude you've got all the tools in your bag um you've got your little magic wand you've got everything that you need to create what you want to happen next what you want to manifest what you bring into your life be very focused about what you want going forward especially with this full moon and the energies that it's bringing in because what you focus on what you put your will and intent into you are very very likely um to start to bring about you may not see it immediately but as soon as you start focusing your will on it the universe starts to make those changes and starts to bring it about for you so have patience with it going forward not everything you know it's not the click of the fingers and it appears but it feels like you're you're ready to go with something new you're ready to create something new going forward and it's a really exciting um, it's quite an exciting time for you as well. So it's your imagination. Um, write down any dreams. Um, you should be getting a lot of synchronicities through as well. Trying to, your guides and angels, trying to sort of guide you along the right path and show you which direction to go in now because you are definitely ready for something new, for a new direction, for a new way of, of being and feeling. So it's about making use of your own power, feeling empowered going forward. Whatever you left behind here has made you feel, it's making you feel more confident as you go forward. It's making you feel happier. Um, so if you, if, you, if you left at a new job, you're going to get really excited about going out and finding a job that really suits you, that you really want to have in the future. Some of you have got romance coming in 
some of you have got Rome, you have let go of a feeling or a situation or some old baggage which has made space in order for you to let love into your life going forward. So keep that in mind as well, especially if you're looking for somebody that's very, that can be likely to happen now because you've got that space in your heart. So that's really nice. Um, I'm going to leave it there. You've got a nice, pretty nice month for the rest of the month. Make full use of that full moon. Take care and I will speak to you soon. Bye.